The floodlights are on and the darkness is descending. It's time for a weekend of night racing. Welcome to the Marina Bay Street Circuit for the Singapore Grand Prix. It all kicks off with this evening's practice session. Rainfall to increase within the next couple of minutes. As all the cars are now over the line, your top three again are Button, Bottas and Kimi Raikkonen. That concludes an interesting practice session. Let's hope for more excitement as the weekend unfolds. goals came up in the board meeting this morning. Here's what to expect. The sky is dark and the lights are on. Welcome to qualifying here at the Marina Bay Street Circuit in Singapore. So qualifying is complete and we're all set for an exciting race tomorrow. Your top three are Raikkonen, a Ferrari and Max Verstappen. It's time to leave for now, but we'll be back tomorrow when the Grand Prix itself gets underway. you know what the team are hoping for in the race. As the sun sets over the South China Sea, the sport that never sleeps is alert and raring to go. Welcome, under the bright lights of the Marina Bay Circuit, to another Singapore Grand Prix. It's a very long, very physical lap, this one, and really there's not much in the way of margin for error. So we have a bit of an endurance race for you tonight. So before the off, let's remind ourselves of yesterday's qualifying session with a look at the starting grid. Kimi Raikkonen's perfect lap yesterday sees him start from pole position and a Ferrari alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Ricardo, Jensen Button and Grosjean, Bottas, Gutierrez, Alonso and Nico Rosberg, Perez, Hamilton, Felipe Massa and Magnussen, Verlein, Palmer, Nico Hülkenberg and Daniel Kvyat, Sainz and Harry Anto, Marcus Ericsson, and Felipe Nasser starts from the back of the grid.
approaching the pit window, you'll be on the super softs. We're considering switching to an alternate strategy. Do you want to change or stick to plan A? Race officials have enabled DRS. DRS is now available.
some information on Ricardo. They have an issue with their car. They're going to be slow. Okay. 
That's a disappointing result for sure, but we'll try to bounce back at the next one. So, another excellent win from Ferrari. Tell me, Ant, what was the key to this success? Well, the safety car completely changed the race, didn't it? It's hard to say exactly what would have happened without it, but there's no question that they came... So, here they come now, out onto the podium. Wherever you go, anywhere in the world, the prancing horse flags are dominant in the grandstands and they're out in force again today. It's Ferrari on the top step once more. And now let's take a look at the driver's standings. It wasn't the best weekend for our championship leader and their advantage at the top has been reduced. And now I'd like to ask you, Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? I think it's got to be Kimi Raikkonen. He's not always spectacular, but he quietly gets the job done. And that's the case today. And here's how things are shaping up in the Constructors' Championship. Ferrari extend their lead at the top of the championship. It was also a strong Grand Prix from Haas F1 this weekend. Fantastic work from the American team to move themselves further up the table. After all this drama, you'd be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care.